The Challenge Cup at a mile and a half, $100,000 purse. 1A, Legolas of Sweden. Tom Nielsen drives. 2B, Eisenberger of West Germany. Helmut Beindel and 3C, Anthon of France with Paul Delano. 4D, Edil de Gazo of France. Eugene Lefebvre. 5E, Gendero of Italy. Giuseppe Rossi. 6F, Diamond Exchange of the United States with Bob Williams. 7G, Dartster F of Sweden. Ole Hedman. 8H, Dallas Lobel of the United States. Bernd Lindstedt. 9I, Babo of the U.S. Norm Jones. And 10J, Yankee Predator of the United States with Archie McNeil. They're going a mile and a half. Here's Jackie Lee with the call. There are all ballooning inside. Eisenberger, West Germany for the early lead. Legolas at the rail of second. Ianthen is on the outside third. Moving up along the inside. Babo is fourth. On the outside is Ideal Dugazo. They move down the back stretch the first time. At the rail is Legolas of Sweden with the lead. Eisenberger parked outside a second. At the rail, Babo racing third outside. That's Ianthen of France fourth. Three lengths back along the inside. Yankee Predator of the United States, fifth. Ideal Dugazo, fifth. Gendero is sixth. Diamond Exchange is seventh. Dodds the ref, and the uh, trailer is Dallas Lobel at quarter and 29 and one. Moving around the paddock turn the first time. On top is Legolas of Sweden by a full length. Along the inside, Babo is now second. Parked on the outside, Ianthen is a third and moving up. Also on the outside, Eisenberger. As they reach the half mile pole, Legolas and Ianthen and rushing up on the far outside is Diamond Exchange. They're by the half mile in one, one and two. Around the clubhouse turn. At the rail is Legolas. Ianthen on the outside. Heads a par for the lead. Babo at the rail third. On the outside, Diamond Exchange is fourth. Three lengths back to Eisenberger, fifth. A Yankee Predator is sixth. Ideal Dugazo is seventh. Gendero is eighth. Diamond Exchange. And the uh, make that Dallas Lobel and at the end the trailer. They're by the uh, three quarters and one thirty one and one. Around the uh, paddock turn the second time. Ianthen of France on the outside. Legolas of Sweden at the rail. Heads apart for the lead. Diamond Exchange are rushing up now to challenge. As they approach the mile mark, still with a half a mile to go. Legolas, Ianthen, and uh, Diamond Exchange on the far outside moving for the lead. They are by the mile mark, and Diamond Exchange has the lead in 2-1-3. and three. As they move around around the clubhouse turn the final time on the outside Ianthen has come back Legolas stays right with him they go down the back stretch the final time Legolas has the lead Ianthen is second along the inside Bobo is third Yankee Predator has moved up fourth Ideal Dugazo on the far outside is fifth and on the move up we've got four horses across the track with a quarter of a mile to go Yankee Predator has made the front for Archie McNeil Ideal Dugazo on the outside is now second Second, Legolas back to third. The mile and a quarter in 233 and one. Around the final turn they go. Yankee Predator has the lead, but Ideal Dugazo moves to him. They're in the stretch for the finish at the real Yankee Predator. And Ideal Dugazo in overdrive. He is going to win the Roosevelt Challenge Cup track going away. Ideal Dugazo. Under the wire, Ideal Dugazo, driven by Eugene Lefebvre, comes from way back. Big move in the final quarter. He blows Yankee Predator away a mile and a one half in three minutes, three and four fifth seconds. And now Stan Bergstein will tell you all the details. The track record's 301, the world record, 301 and three by Cash Minbar in 77. So you see it's a fast one. The mile was in 201 and three, the mile and a quarter in 233 and one compared to last week's international in 235 and two. It's Edile de Gazo of France, 420, 320, 220, owned by Pierre Jean Moran of Marcy Le Greve in France and driven by Eugene Lefebvre, his trainer. In second, 10J, Yankee Predator of the United States, $6, $4, couldn't hold on. And little Legolas of Sweden, the ballet dancer that Beau Franson talked about, an elegant little trotter, 320 to show with a triple of 4, 10, and 1. D, J, and A paying $166.50. Spencer Ross is trackside to talk to Eugene Lafay. Spencer? 
Some pretty anxious moments as they came down for the mile. Remember, diamond exchange on the outside, and Albert Rue is here with us, along with, of course, Eugene Lefebvre. And Albert, I'd like you to ask uh, Eugene if it was a pretty scary time because diamond exchange suddenly stopped like he thought the race was over. Est-ce que tu as eu peur quand diamond exchange s'est arrêté? Really, he was scared because he stopped. Man. I mean, he just stopped. Who says horses don't have minds of their own? They usually go around only twice here at Roosevelt Raceway, and Diamond Exchange did stop. So Eugene Lefebvre moved uh, Ideal de Gazelle on the outside, got clear, but when they hit the three quarters, it was not any, uh, there was still a great deal of doubt involved because the Yankee Predator had the lead, and Eugene had to be worried at that point. Est-ce que tu avais peur du Yankee Predator quand il était en tête dans le dernier tournoi? Euh, pas du tout, là. No, 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 no. He was not. Okay. He was very confident on his horse. <laughs> Yeah, that, he, no, he saw that the driver was uh, shaking the, the line. Does he ever get concerned? That's the question. We pick it up right here. Yankee Predator has the lead, and Ideal de Gazo has a good couple of lanes that he has to make up. Est-ce que tu n'as jamais douté que tu allais gagner? Jamais, non. No, he never doubt that he was going to win. Does he ever doubt? Ever. Est-ce que tu, uh, tu te fais du souci que tu, vas, que tu allais perdre la course? Uh, no, but it's easy and... No, he said that he saw that the order was at the end of the, uh, how you say, the end of the line. End of the rope, end of the, the line. Up, and he was going very easy, and he was very confident that he was going to win. And look at the beauty of Ideal de Gazo, Eugene, you're 3,000 miles away from home. But he has to think this is his home ballpark, doesn't he? Tu es à plus de 4500 km de chez toi, mais tu penses que Roosevelt est ton champ de course. Ah, je pense c'est mon champ de course. Oui, il y a plus souvent. Oh, you really think that's his race track? That it is his race track. Okay, I don't think Eugene will be singing the Star Spangled Banner. He's still a Frenchman, and he's got the greatest trotter in the world, perhaps the greatest trotter of all time, more than three million dollars. There is Ideal de Gazo, along with Eugene Lefebvre, and congratulations on winning